why didn't you have a fair shake early on? Like, you know, you know, no, don't get me wrong. You know, people, people got it way tougher than me. I always had a roof on my head. I always had clothes. I always had hot food to eat and stuff. I, that was because my grandma and grandpa, you know, my, you know, if people follow my story, you know, my mom, my mom was, uh, you know, was, was a heavy drug addict. You know, my grandma was, uh, uh, not my grandma, but my dad was like, I don't even remember him being in my life. He was like maybe in and out my, in and out my life when I was a kid. And then, you know, like after 10 for sure, just kind of never ever, never ever was there, you know. But um, I, I, you know, it's, people had it harder than me. I, I just want to show these guys. Like, I, I was one of those kids before I met the coaches I'm with now. My team I met now was, I just had a chip on my shoulder. I always thought so, you know, like people owed me stuff. The world owed me stuff. I was going around like people owed me stuff. You owe me this. You, the world owed me that. You know, where I was from, the city. I always joked around, but like when we made the we made the news for everything. You know, and one of the things I would say would be like, man kills cockroach in, in, in Waianae, Hawaii. And that's like front news in the paper. Like, I would joke around. That's how bad it is. Like, yeah. anytime something bad happens in Waianae, it always happens. The first thing you see is Waianae Big Bull, and that killed me. You know, oh. that killed me. And I, and I always, uh, and like I said, like how I said, I'm not the best fighter from Waianae. Or I'm not even the best athlete from there. Like, I saw so many guys uh, supposed to be in the league. They're supposed to be here while, I, while I'm sitting. They're supposed to be doing greater stuff than what they're doing now. But I always saw little stuff bring them back. And I always told myself, I'm not, no way. I, I, I used that as fuel. That was my fuel. Like I, was, I always like, uh, looked at them like, this is not happening to me. I'm not giving up my dream for this. I'm not giving up my dream for that. You know? mm -hmm. And, and uh, I just want people to know like, you can do it. You know? like, a, lot of, a lot of these guys, is, what they're used to is uh, this is what happens. They become like, you know, the all-star. You know, whatever the the number one standout in in in, uh, in in the school. Yeah. And then they see their uncles, you know, and their uncles is there. And then what their uncles is doing, they're all working construction. After after work, they go, they drink every Friday. They they meet up somewhere, they drink, popping bottles or whatever, and talk about what they did in high school. And mm -hmm. I always told myself, that's not gonna be me. There's no way. I'm gonna let people talk. Let people talk about me. You know, if you gotta talk about it, then you know that's you. You know, that's fair shake to you. Uh, but that's not what I wanna do. How do you? How did you be the one to, to break that though? Because that is a tough tradition to break. Just, just hard work, hard work. You know, my grandpa. My grandpa was a <laughs> man. My grandpa was an amazing guy. He's uh, he's amazing. He, but he always instilled in us hard work. You know, if he found out what I was doing right now, you know, he passed away. But if he found out what he's doing right now, he's probably like, you know, he's probably up there looking down at me and just shaking his head, being like, what are you doing, kid? You're supposed to, he wanted me to go work a job, you know, you have a family and then just keep working hard for my, for, uh, for my family and stuff. So I'm sure he's happy, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's just, he just instilled hard work in us, you know. He was one of those guys that, like, before I could go out and play with my friends, I had to do my homework. We had to do chores. Uh, every Saturday, Sunday, we wake up at, at he'd wake us at, up at 5.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. we'd, have, we'd have breakfast made, he'd make us breakfast, and we'd be working. We'd be doing yard work or whatever we can do, and we couldn't finish nothing. We couldn't go out and play with our friends until we finished mm -hmm. our yard work or do whatever we had to do. So I think so it was just, it was just them inst instilling me, you know, and, and pushing me to be the greatest I could be, I guess. Mm. There was you and a younger brother, and is that it? Or and, and an older brother, an older I was brother. a middle child. Okay. Uh, when did your grandfather pass away? My grandfather passed away when I was in eighth grade. Eighth grade, yeah. My bro my my brother was grad my brother was graduating that day. Mm -hmm. We had a um, we had a field trip that day. You know, funny funny story. I had a field trip that day to Ice Palace, and we didn't pay. But there was uh, there was three of us. They'd call us the three amigos, me and my two friends. Uh -huh. uh, and um, we all had this plan. We was like, we're gonna sneak onto the bus. And we're gonna get to Ice Palace, and there's no way they can turn the bus around. We're gonna be there. <laughs> At least we're not gonna be in class. Yeah. And then I was like, I'm so down. I'm so like, let's do this. So we 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 know where the bus was gonna be. So we waiting. We was hiding in a bathroom. And when the, when all the kids was walking too, we just kind of snuck into line or whatever. And like yeah. we was going in, and I was like, man. I told them like, I can't do this. I gotta go back to the class. I gotta go back to the class. So I go sit down, and I sit down. Maybe like 10 minutes later, it's like. On the, mi on the microphone over the, over the, whole, the whole school is like, uh, Joel Max Holloway, can you please come to the front office? I was like, bro, I was like, bro, I didn't even do this. 
I was like, these yeah. guys ratted me out? I'm in class. Like, yeah. that's the first thing that went to my <laughs> mind. I'm like, these guys don't rat me out. I'm in, and I went to class. I'm mad. I go there and then, you know, I see my mom. I see my mom crying. And I kind of, we kind of, I kind of knew what's happening. My, grand, my grandpa was already on, on uh, we, we had someone at the house helping us and stuff with him. Saw my mom, kind of knew what was happening, you know, went there and, uh, you know, it's life, you know. Life is, uh, you, ha you live, you live, uh, you live a life and then when it's your time to go, it's time, time to go. And that's what my grandpa and uh, grandma instilled in me. Like, my grandpa always told us, like, you know, when I pass away, you punks, you guys better not cry. Or I'll haunt you guys. So I, I promised I didn't cry when he passed because, like, I was scared. He told us this from when I was, like, seven years old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I was, like, tw like, five years of being told that, it's like I, I really believe I was going to get haunted. So I didn't <laughs> cry, you know. I, lo I love the guy. You know, even my grandma. My grandma was like, you better not cry. You, better, you guys better not throw a funeral for me. You guys better be, like, not doing none of this sad stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. It's like, just be happy because, you know, I'm in a happy place. So they're, the, my grandma and grandpa is just... Amazing people, amazing, super amazing. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and special content, subscribe to ESPN+.